Bobby Brazier has joined the cast of EastEnders in an exciting new role, and one person who would have been incredibly proud is his late mum Jade Goody. The 19-year-old will make his acting debut as Freddie Slater, who avid viewers will remember is the son of Little Mo and was last seen on our screens way back in May 2006. Although that may lead to a bit of confusion as Bobby, who is the son of the Big Brother star and presenter Jeff Brazier, has a younger brother called Freddie. On joining EastEnders, Bobby said, I'm really excited to be joining the cast of EastEnders, so far it's been perfect. Everybody has been so beautiful to me and made settling in easier than I could've hoped. Stepping into the acting world has always been a vision of mine and doing that with EastEnders as a Slater is a blessing, I'm very grateful. Loving every minute of Freddie so far and can't wait to see what's in store for him in Walford. Bobby actually already has a connection to EastEnders, as his mum developed a close bond with Pauline Fowler actress Wendy Richard. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror Newsletter here. They both found out that were dying of cancer, and Wendy's warm words of support gave great comfort to Jade. The East Enders legend was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1996, with the disease returning in 2002 and then again in 2008, but this time it had spread throughout her body. Jade had been taking part in the Indian version of Big Brother in August 2008 when she got a call from her consultant and was told she had cancer, having previously experienced symptoms such as blood loss and pains in her leg. After flying straight back to the UK, Jade was given the devastating news that she had been suffering from cervical cancer for the last two years and her tangerine-sized tumor had destroyed more than half of her womb. Jade had a hysterectomy and a grueling year of chemotherapy, and Wendy offered a public message of support when the reality TV star lost her hair. If you are a woman, losing your hair can be a really big deal, especially to someone as young as Jade, said Wendy. But my view is, so what? Everybody in my position loses their hair but it's no big deal, it will grow back. It gradually started coming out six weeks ago but it's something you expect. It goes with the territory, doesn't it, and you move on. I wear a wig, I've got three. Some days, if I'm not going out, I won't wear one but I like to look my best at all times. My message to Jade is to persevere and stay positive. Jade took Wendy's advice and started showing off her bald head, and didn't wear a wig on her amazing wedding day to Jack Tweed in February 2009. Wendy was too ill to attend Jade's emotional wedding day, but called the Big Brother favorite to wish her luck despite being in the midst of her own battle with cancer. An insider said, she said she would have loved to have been there but was too sick. She told Jade she was thinking of her. It proved to be Wendy's final message as she tragically died just days later. Paying tribute to the actress, Jade told The Sun, I met Wendy in hospital and she was brilliant to me. She told me to keep fighting and make the most of my life. She was a lovely lady. Sadly, surgeons discovered Jade's cancer had already spread and there was nothing more they could do. Along with her ex partner Jeff, they told their songs by co-writing a script about how she would become a star in the sky who they would always be able to see. Sadly, Jade died in her sleep in the early hours of March 22, but her incredible legacy has lived on with the number of women having smear tests increasing by 12% following her death. Her eldest son, Bobby, 
has taken the fashion world by storm and he previously opened up on how proud his mum would be. He told the son, like every boy, you want to think your mum would be proud of you. I hope she's looking down on me and smiling, probably laughing, thinking, look at Bobby Lang in a field in his designer gear. I think she'd love the fact him doing these fashion shoots, walking catwalks and trying my best to make something of my life. It makes me smile just thinking about it. After the news of Bobby's EastEnders role was announced, Jeff posted a photo of his son standing beside the iconic Albert Square sign and left a sweet message. Proud of it Bobby Brazier joining Epsi's tenders, wrote the TV personality on Instagram. He has been gifted an opportunity and he is grabbing it with both hands with a great attitude and respect. Little confusing for us that his name is Freddy but well get used to it. From what I've heard over the past month or so it sounds like he is a part of a great team. I'm so excited to watch him develop. Bobby is playing the role of Little Mo's son Freddy, who was a baby when he was last seen in Walford in May 2006. Now that Hess an 18-year-old, Freddy arrives back in Albert Square on a mission that could end in heartbreak. Bosses have teased that the character has a heart of gold but can't help getting himself into mischief bringing a bundle of energy and a truckload of trouble. Freddy is said to be sweet like his mum, who appeared on the soap between 2000 and 2006, but has not shy and causes a stir wherever he goes. Chris Clinshaw, executive producer, said, Freddy Slater is a chaotic 18-year-old with a sensitive soul. A modern-day lad who's in touch with his spiritual side, as philosophical, accepting, but full of mischief and makes mistakes. Bobby is an amazing young addition to the EastEnders cast who brings heart and humility to the role of Freddy Slater and I can't wait for audiences to get to know him. Do you have a story to share? Email web features at trinitamirror.com